And for that purpose of worshiping alone, then anybody that comes with other than that doesn't have a reason to be here. <coughs> right? It's just like if a person comes to the message to play and run around and make noise. Does they have to, do they have a reason to come to the message? Because the masjid Mabuni Alahada wasn't established, wasn't built upon that. Wasn't built for that. But rather it was built for what? Abdul Rahman. Right. To make sujood ahsanta. And what else? To worship Allah alone. What else? Khalilu. To make dhikr barakallah feek. Man, you came strong tonight. My man. Very good, Abu ba Khalilu. Yes, to make dhikr. To make dhikr, barakallah fi. What else? <laughs> to what else? You say what? <laughs> I'm listening. <laughs> Very good. To make i'tikaf, ahsanta. Very good, Muhammad. What else? Abu Ibrahim. Right, to come together upon good. Naam, Abba Munira. Tilawatul Quran. Circle of knowledge. So on and so forth, right? <coughs> so if Allah Jalla created the creation for the creation to worship Allah, then there is no room for anyone to come to do the opposite of what Allah Jalla created us for. This is why he mentioned. It is, right, bihamli as-silah, to carry the weapons. وَدُخُولُ الْمَعَارَقَةِ And to enter, engage in their, in this expedition, in the military expedition, in the, in the battlefield. Shasal al Fawdan Hafidahullah say, Wakad Farad Allah Tabaraka wa ta'ala ala hadhi al umma al jihad fi sabilihi. Indeed Allah has made an obligation upon this Ummah to strive in his cause. In his cause. Walakin Shara'ahu bi at tadhi. فيما أن يكون أو فيما أن كان النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم بمكة ومعه المسلمون. He mentioned حفظه الله, but he know that Allah سبحانه وتعالى he has legislated this even at the time that he the messenger صلى الله عليه وسلم was in مكة. Right. And we know that in Mecca there was no weapons that, was, that, that came out. Tayyip. 
And he had the Muslims. And the Muslims, they were prevented from fighting jihad at that time. Even though the word jihad was there. In, in Barakallah, some of the surah, surah that are makkiyah, that you have it, right? وَجَاهِدُوهُمْ jihadan kabira And strive against them, right? Strive against them in the greatest way. And here, what is the greatest way? بِمَعَنَا That you read to them the book of Allah. You recite to them the verses of Allah. Recite the verses of Allah. It was not that you're going to put your weapon if somebody look at you in a way you, you slice him up. La. But rather, barakallahu feekum, it is to read the verses of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to the disbelievers. He mentioned hafizahullah. He say, ma'murina bikaffi aydihim. That they were Commended, meaning the companion when they were in Makkah. They, they were commanded to withhold their hands. They were commanded to withhold their hands. Meaning not to do anything. Not to fight back. Barakallahu feekum. So the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallama. فَقَدْ ظَلَّ النَّبِيُّ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمَ فِي مَكَّةِ That the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallama, he was in Makkah. Mudda of a time or of a time period of 13 years. Ba'da al bi'tha After he was made a prophet and messenger. But all he was doing was what? Yadu'u ilallah. He was calling to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He said, Wa raghama ma kana. And despite what the difficulty what the mashaqqa that they were facing. Despite that mashaqqa, despite the difficulty, despite the treatment that they were given, they were prevented from doing what? From fighting back. And they were commanded to withhold their hands. With all of the mashaqqa for 13 years. Now think about this. For 13 years you are the place... We barakallahu feekum every single day in its treatment. Every single day with the, the, with the trial and tribulation that you go into. And it, doesn't, it, is, it is not to mean that you can't fight them back. It is not to mean that you are a coward or not like this. But rather this was barakallahu feekum to train the companions of the messenger alayhi salatu wasalam in regard to what obeying Allah even in times of difficulty. Even in times of those things that Barakallah feel it is painful and difficult for them. Shah Salih al-Fadha Hafidullah, he said, now why is it that for 13 years in Mecca, the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and all the companion was commanded to fight back, let alone to go and fight jihad as will come, bi-idhnillahi ta'ala, as the jihad you have two types of jihad. You have the jihad at daf'a, right? And the jihad at talab. These two, and it is important, Barak, and every one of them has a rule, a particular rule that is to be understood prior to the implementation. Now, what was the reason why the Messenger, alayhi salatu was salam, and the companion, they were not given? Allah did not authorize them, nor commanded them to fight or fight back. He say, Anna al-Muslimin, that the Muslims, kanu fi halim min al-du'af. They were upon what? They were weak. They were weak. They were weak. Not weak in iman, but they were weak in numbers, and they were weak in monetary, yani uh, uh, ability. They were not weak in their, in their, in their, in their manhood as being like strong they can fight. Akhi, some of those companions that accepted Islam, they were from the Ashja'in Nas. They were from the most courageous one among the companions. Where is Hamza? Where is Umar ibn al-Khattab? Akhi, these were people that was known to be what? To be strong men. Strong, walhamdulillah. So it is not that they were scared or stuff like this. 
But it was all about the commands of Allah. So the illa fi dhalika is that the Muslims they were kanu fi hal min al du'af they were upon they were weak. If they were to be commanded bil qital of fighting, then wahum ala mithli hadhi al hal and they were upon that situation. <coughs> Look, they were weak. They were weak in numbers. They were weak in, in, in having weapons. They were weak in having money. They were weak in all aspects except that which is the most important one. Which is in, part, in regard to their faith with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So if they were, Shaykh Salih for that, he say, he say, fellow, if they were, Commanded to fight and they were upon that situation. He say, then they will be defeated by their enemies. Then they will be defeated by their enemies. They will be defeated by their enemies. And it will be barakallah fikum. Yani the, the call of al-Islam could have vanished from that point on. If that they were commanded to fight, that their enemies will wipe them out. And the call of Islam could have vanished from that point on. So Shah Fawdan, he mentioned, ثُمَّ لَمَّا هَاجَرَ النَّبِيُّ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمَ إِلَى الْمَدِينَةِ And after, when the Messenger صلى الله عليه وسلم migrated to Medina, وَوَجَدُوا الْأَنصَارِ والأعوان. and he عليه الصلاة والسلام ووجد he found الأنصار he found the Ansar meaning those who الذين تبوأوا الدار والإيمان those who they opened their hearts in belief <coughs> and they opened their homes they believe and they opened their homes and he found he, the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, aid and assistance, help. And from that point on, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded them bil jihad. He commanded them with striving against the disbelievers. He's a, he say, إذن لا أمرا فقال أذن للذين At first, it was not it was not a command to go attack them the disbelievers <coughs> but now the first command was what to retaliate or to defend yourself now look how it started first it did not say go fight them it didn't say get ready and go fight them that was not the first command the first command was what defend yourself Defend yourself. Shuf. Allah Jalla is say, Udina lil ladina yuqataluna bi annahum zulimu. It was given the authorization for those who were, who were, who were oppressed and who, they were, who were oppressed to fight back. Wa anna Allah for indeed Allah ala nasrihim la qadir. Indeed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He is all capable of aiding them he is all capable of aiding them and giving them what help and assistance look the first command was not go fight them but rather udhina lil ladhina yuqataluna bi annahum zulimu because of they were what they were oppressed they were wronged now they were commanded to fight back it was not like Barakallah Fikum in Mecca, where you were commanded to what? To withhold your hands. You were not commanded to fight back because that could ultimately lead that they will wipe you all out. But in Medina, when the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam came and with him the Ansar and with him, Walhamdulillah, the aid and the help, then now Allah Jalla wa Ala commanded him to fight back. Fight back. Fight back. So we understand here that there is what is called what? At difa. Being in the defensive fight. 
defensive fight. They attacking you, you got now right.